How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here and in this video I'm going to be talking about custom clothes, clothing shops, convenience stores, and gas stations and what I want to see and how I predict their role is going to be in Grand Theft Auto 5. So Rockstar has come out and said that they want their world to fe feel more immersive and more realistic. Now there's a few examples that I'm going to show you in a minute. But in Grand Theft Auto 4, there are many stores that you couldn't go in. It's kind of like half the city was blocked off to you as you couldn't open all the buildings and uh, many entrances to stores and what have you not was always cut off and you didn't have access to it. So uh, anyways, let's get started. We're going to talk about a lot of cool things. Uh, let's get this underway. All right, so before I talk about custom clothing in Grand Theft Auto 5, I want to talk about some of the clothing options we had in Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, we didn't have a ton of options. You know, you could change your pants, uh, you could paint, change your shirt, your hat, your sunglasses, your shoes, uh, you maybe some accessories, and that was about it. Now, there are three stores in Grand Theft Auto 4. One of them was called Moto, and that's kind of like your more casual clothes or like uh, TJ Maxx or uh, I wouldn't say Walmart clothes. I mean, they were nicer clothes. You get some nice jeans, uh, some nice jackets, etc. It was definitely more of like a middle class store, which uh, uh, you didn't get to discover until later in the game. Now, one of the higher class stores is actually Perseus. This is kind of like your men's warehouse or, uh, you know, your Joseph A. Bank of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, this is where you're going you're gonna to be buying your suits, your nice slacks. And the funny thing about uh, Perseus is you have this nice greeter right here who will tell you if you're actually doing your clothing options right or if you're doing them wrong. And if you decide to push him over, you have to deal with the bodyguard who definitely gets the best of me as he lays a money may well other knockout punch to me and finally the first store that you guys uh, all know and all that we encountered uh, is the Russian store and this is real low quality I'm talking like weird ski jackets from the 1980s so uh, this is the store that you definitely don't want to be purchasing clothing from later in the game it looks really tacky it definitely looks really weird and uh, as soon as I was able to get out of these clothes I was but let's talk about some custom clothes in Grand Theft Auto 5 all right, so this first screenshot we're looking at right now is the first image we get to see of the clothing customization. Now, this looks like a pretty casual store. You can see Franklin right here. Looks like he's trying on some jeans, and the first thing you'll notice is the immense variety. Now, like the clips I just showed you in Grand Theft Auto 4, there wasn't a whole lot of choice. It was grab what was ever, you know, programmed on the shelf right there, and it looks like this is going to be broken down into categories. You can see this looks like the jean categories. We have brown skinny jeans, blue skinny jeans, coffee skinny jeans, baggy jeans. So lots of types of jeans. I'm seeing like 12 already on the screen right now, and that's really cool. I'm sure it'll be broken down into slacks, uh, jeans, shorts, uh, you know, sweatpants, sweats, whatever you want. So it looks like the variety and custom ability is going to be cooler than ever. You're going to be able to mix and match things, you know, I'd say 50 times than what you were able to do in Grand Theft Auto 5 because who knows what other categories we see right here, but this is just one uh, of what I assume is going to be many about the clothing customization because in Grand Theft Auto 4, like, it was like buy Nico a suit or get him like a floral Hawaiian shirt and put a jacket on him because there was one mission where you required it and then like I never really took it off. So uh, that is it. Let's take it another look at another screenshot and uh, we'll look at some more clothing options all right so this next image we're actually looking at the jacket section of Grand Theft Auto 5 and again these look like to be the casual school jackets these are like uh, what would be high school letterman jackets I guess you could say and it looks like we get to see 12 of them right here or there's seven in the frame and 12 total and this is really cool we never got to see these in uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 and who knows if the own characters like each individual character is going to have their own style of clothing you know it'd be kind of weird to see Michael in a uh, you know a gang style maybe a high school letterman jacket but it would be typical to see Franklin in that because that is his background so uh, who knows if we're gonna be seeing different characters with different wardrobes and different types of custom abilities but the jackets in this look sweet there's lots of colors obviously that's I'm a big proponent of that uh, when I play Call of Duty I love to have multiple camos it's just one of my things so in Grand Theft Auto 5 I'm gonna love to see the ability to mix and match outfits uh, it's something I've always wanted for a long time and I'm so glad it's coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 so the final few things I want to talk about in this video is the ability to access stores. So you can see I'm going into this burger shop right now and there's not a whole lot to do in this burger shop. I can't even sit down. The only thing I can do is order food and believe it or not this is one of the few buildings in the game that you can actually go in that isn't mission related or hotel or apartment related. So definitely one thing I want to see is uh, the ability to go in more buildings, interact with the city and now gas stations. I would love for gas stations to serve their purpose as gas stations 
because there's no way to fill up your car. You can't go inside to get a beverage or, you know, a lottery ticket or whatever you get at gas stations. And the only thing it really serves, you know, any good for is being a giant time bomb because if you happen to run your vehicle into it or happen to, uh, you know, unfavorably discharge your shotgun that is what will happen to you right there and people will look on at you like wow why did you just do that and uh, another store that you can go in surprisingly is one of the internet cafes now I know this game was made in 2007 or 2008 the development period for it but uh, I don't know how internet cafes are gonna transfer over into Los Santos in the realm of Grand Theft Auto 5 but again that was one of the few interactive buildings you can go in so I would love to see more interactive city ability go in all these buildings hang out with my city fall in love with Los Santos like I did uh, Liberty City here so anyways guys thanks for watching the video like I said if you did enjoy I would encourage you guys to leave a like favorite and subscribe thanks for watching the video guys take care and of course I will see you guys in the next video